neither kings nor queens nor royal marines, but twenty-eight on Friday. Right guys, what I thought I'd do is a quick video, I've had a look to see if there are any videos on this and I couldn't see any, but it's probably the worst kept secret in, uh, <laughs> in anywhere. Um, I'm going to be talking about the Ridge Monkey, in this case 10 litre water container. They actually come in uh, 5, 10 and 15 litre containers that I know of um, that are available in the UK. This one is the 10 litre and I'll just uh, give you a size comparison. So there's, there's the Nalgene bottle so it gives you uh, an idea of roughly how big they are. I like them, they're made out of sort of a, a tough plastic, ABS type plastic, so they can take a hit. I've just bought two brand new ones, and they, this is one of those. Um, so you can see what uh, what they're like. Um, I've had the other two for at least two years, and that's why I've uh, decided to make uh, the video about it, because I've tested them, and I'll let you know what I think as I go through the video. They're made by a company called Ridge Monkey. Um, I'll put the link down below where I actually purchased this. It's probably it's fairly local to me, and it was quite an easy place for me to go and uh, collect. Uh, they've got loads of them on the shelf and stuff. So we've got uh, a carrying handle in the centre. Uh, the reason I like these, um, they're nice and easy. Ten litres is a nice weight to carry, whether you be on a campsite or out in the field. Uh, filling it up from a stream etc and use it as a water source uh, so you can filter the water and all that sort of stuff um, the handle is quite central so it actually takes the uh, the weight quite centrally in your hand so it's not off to one side and causing you to rock you've got two openings a smaller opening which uh, I'll take that off there and I'll just give you an idea of what it's like the inside their lids they've got uh, a seal and as you can see, this is brand new because it's got the, the label on it. Just get rid of that. And this uh, opening actually becomes where the tap goes on. And I'll, I'll show you how that works in a minute. But one particular thing I do like about it is this nice wide filler cap. So we've got this nice wide filler cap. And I'll bring out the Nalgene bottle to give you an idea of what it's like and the size of it so there you go it's about the size of a Nalgene bottle but it's uh, it is slightly narrow but about that sort of size but it just gives you an idea and there you go I can get my hand in it size 10 hand extra large whichever money you play with um, so it's nice and easy to fill up whether that be from a tap or any other water source so the thing I like about this is that actually becomes uh, like a venting hole, so you put that on there and just and just crack it so that it allows the air to get in. And then the other end, you take that cap off there. And what I didn't show you off camera is underneath the larger cap, that's where the, the tap actually sits. So that goes on there. And that goes on there. Okay, so you unscrew that big cap and you can keep that on there while your water's inside. And I'll show you that in a second. But you unscrew this cap and then screw it on there and it allows you a tap. Now I've used for years and years and years, I've used this type of water container, which there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Again, 10 litre water container does the job. The downside is it's got a small opening. Now I'll bottle just to show you the size against my hand. So it's awkward to fill up and awkward to pour should you only want a limited amount of water and stuff like that. One big benefit is of this is you can actually see the water level through it. But with the uh, Ridge Monkey version, you can actually open the lid and see it. So there's pros and cons to everything. These are slightly heavier due to plastic, but I haven't had an issue with the, uh, the Ridge Monkey ones as yet. 
Right, while we're here, I'll tell you about one thing that I have noticed is a downside of this. If you over tighten this lid, so you actually do it, you do it up, and uh, like most of us, you give it that extra, uh, then what happens is it will leak from here. So what I found to to do that is just to tighten it up hand tight and leave it put it on its side test it and stuff like that i haven't had an issue with it then but uh it's just i know we tend to over tighten these things so uh that is a little top tip on that one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you off to a tap and uh you'll then see uh me filling it up and i'll do a quick comparison right then first of all i'll show you the old type container as you can see, there you go. No big problem. Fill the water up. Hopefully you can see that. I'll put the hand behind it so you can. There you go, some water going in, no big problem, but you do have to hold it there. So I'll just move that one out of the way. I'll get the reach one out. Take the lid off. And if you can see, probably after all bit, I am losing some water down the side, water and all. So there we go. And if you can see, that's uh, just filling it up. I'll bring you back in a second. Right then, so there you go. And I have put a video on this. I'm just going to use some of these uh, sterilising tablets. These are brand new containers. So, break them up chuck them in there and then they'll be sat there for about half an hour there you go that's nice and full now and so everything gets sterilized what I'm going to do is I'll put the tap everything else in there screw the lid on and leave that to sell so same again with the next one but you'll be relieved to know I'm not going to leave the film running. So all I'm going to do is fill that one up, sterilise it, and then I'll bring it back and I'll show you the tap fix. Right then, out in the garden now. Containers full of water. Unscrew the lid. Top tip, when it's full, see when it's on its end, you'll see now, the water's all the way, so if you crack this, well, it's full, then the water will come out of here. So be careful on that one. And do that. Put that somewhere safe. Put that on there. And then, yeah, not probably the best place to do it, but there we go. You've got a tap to control the water. Okay, hope that's been of use to some people. Like I said, as you can see, it's not leaking now. But if you over tighten this, it does leak. So, uh, something to bear in mind. Anyway, I'll put the links down below where I bought it. And uh, if you know anywhere that does them cheaper, then let me know. Cheers, guys.